The report debunked the science behind global warming. Those gases are produced by us. The predictions? Governor, it's an environmental revolution that is coming. I mean, that's the reality. Most of my work for the last 50 years has been dedicated to understanding and quantifying what the impacts of recent climate change have actually been on wild species. We, when you pull all that information together around the gold, birds and butterflies and seagrasses and, and fish and coral reefs, what you see is this very, very consistent pattern. No matter where you are in the globe, no matter what kind of organism you're looking at, a large proportion of species are showing responses to recent climate change. The impacts of that are mainly going to be seen in another 20 to 40 years. It, I think that's difficult for people to understand that a lot of the impacts of climate change we are not seeing yet. We're just starting to see the tip of the iceberg. We're, we're seeing the most sensitive species, the most extreme locations like the Arctic, showing these massive losses and massive declines. And so what's really important is to be thinking about climate change in all of our planning, in our planning of, of where to develop, in our planning of how to expand urban areas, in our agricultural schemes, what crops are we going to grow, and in our biodiversity conservation.